Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have a stick in my hand. And we're playing Madden 20, the we Vikings. Are... God, this team is trash, bro. <laughs> oh, Jonas, they, they mean well, they want to win. Yeah, they do. You found out um, while we were on break there that your uh, offensive line is terrible. Oh my god, it is so bad. It's okay though, dude, we're going to rock it. That's why we had 97 sacks last game. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, dude, it's cool, we'll try to make it work. Yeah, what can you do? What can Lose? you do? We can just keep losing. <laughs> uh, J Double. Mm hmm. Joni Two Guns. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Here it comes, folks. Well, see, I was going to get raunchy on this. Wow. On this. Well, <laughs> get like two minutes into the video. No, Come no, on. see, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to get raunchy. I'm just going to fit it in. I'm just going to finesse it in. Okay. I like when you finesse so, it. So, I don't know what ep what day this video is coming out, but I figure I want to get it out as soon as possible. But, uh. Um, it will come out. I don't know what day it'll come out either. Next week. But at the showing of this video, it may. But she 6 9 is potentially supposed to get out tomorrow oh like oh the tomorrow like literally dude i wonder what kind of crazy ish he's gonna do the day he comes out what do you mean he's probably gonna see he, he's gonna get back on like social media oh my god <laughs> bro we are digging <laughs> off the trend uh what do you mean he's not gonna do anything crazy he's he gonna absolutely go is he's gonna go see his child his mother his family members. <laughs> what do you want to bet? Within a week, he's something. Well, wild. okay, within a week, yeah. come on. He's got priorities. He's got children and stuff. His priority is getting famous again. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that will come after he sees his children, dude, <laughs> and make sure his family is safe. But apparently, they reached out to one of the New York uh, radio hosts. Yeah. By the name of a Charlemagne the God on oh, the yeah, Breakfast okay. Club. And they even asked him if he would be willing to do a one on one conversation with He's him. on the Breakfast Club, right? Yes, but he was going to do like a one on one, kind of like meet him in a secured location and do an interview. Oh, like a lockdown, like, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. yeah because yeah. the Breakfast Club is centered in New York. Where he's not really supposed to go. Where he was going. That's where, yeah, that's the word of gang that he. Was affiliated with. Uh, that's where they kind of take house. So, so like he would like Charlemagne would fly to him and do an interview, essentially. Yeah, yeah, another way around, whatever. Meet in Portland, Oregon, in like a star yeah. or something. That's the thing. Like his, his family is probably already out of New York, and he will probably be going to wherever they are if they haven't been moved around a bunch of times. Like they, they take care of people, man. They don't want like innocent people getting hurt. If you're gonna, if you're if you're uh, chirping to the feds, they'll make sure your people are safe. <laughs> chirping to the feds. <laughs> the same. Jesus, Tony, <laughs> sound like you've been there before. <laughs> like, I know a couple rats chirp to the feds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Jonas, it may be happening, man. Dude, I hope he gets out. Good for him. Is that how you feel, Jonas? Not really. Well, how do you really feel? I'm sure that in a short amount of time, he will be dead. You think somebody's just going to hunt him down Absolutely. and take his life? They are. There are ignorant people who will do stupid things for very little amounts of money. Uh, that just to be the man who that, put him in his place for doing what he that what, did it. Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, oh, they'll take care of my mama. I'll do it just so I can be the guy who took down. Like, you know how set he would be in prison if he took down six nine and went to federal prison for that. Yeah, he would be set, dude. Yeah. he would be like a king in there because every all like the gang wow. members would. It would be. It's, I'm not saying it's right. Oh, it's a weird. You, you did, but I don't know if it's still worth doing 10 years but of murder. The people who would do that sort of thing, that like they're like, you know what? My uh, life sucks on the outside. I can mm, be a king in jail. Yeah, Jonas, it's crazy because I think I, I understand. I think attempts will be made on his life, but I don't know if anybody's going to get him for some time. Maybe eventually. Well, I, I feel mean, like it'll be years well, down I, the well, road. What, what may happen is like. They'll probably, at first, there'll be a lot of threats. So, like, he'll be very well... Obviously, he'll have security. But the more time it goes by with the less attempts, the more complacent he's going to get. Yeah, that's the thing. And then the day he does something that's just... Someone's yeah. just going to wait and sit, wait back patiently. 
and then be like, he's just going to get out of the car, go to 7 Eleven to get a slushy, and they're going to be like, no. follow him and just run in and just. No, I don't want it to happen. It's going to be like the movies, and someone gets him at the movie theaters. I don't like want it to happen. Not anyone to die. But, I like, don't. dude, it's. It, it's okay. It's one thing to narc. It's another thing to be a famous person and narc on a giant gang. Yeah. In the public yes. eye. It's. It's. Dude, it's bad. Okay, I think I think the fat so uh, lenient on on him because of like his actions and everything. I mean, he did some illegal ish, and he went to jail, and he, I mean, he went to prison. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm lenient because his story is so like it's something that I could resonate with. Yeah, oh, it's I'm like you grow up in in a poor neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You make a hit song. You meet up with these gang members who allow you to use their images and likenesses in your videos to solidify your street cred, of which you know you have none. To then boost your sales and everything else, because boost, yeah, boost your sales. You're doing crazy stuff. Just likes up and oh, ability sub. -pump. I mean, they go hard. Yeah, <laughs> it gets you excited. Well, I mean, it's almost like it's like it's uh, it's like we were talking about with ICP. You get a crew of people who are into your music, regardless if it's good or not. If if you get the backing of a giant nation worldwide gang, yeah, yeah, you can put out anything, and they're gonna listen to it. Yeah, his his music is is, is weird. <laughs> yes, it's, it's there because yes. it it's not good, bad. It's just not good. No, okay. it is not it's, bad. It's okay. just not that's, good. That's very true. It is not like complete trash. I actually like it. I like. Oh, I like. I, I've never I heard you listen to. Six I've got movies. Dummy Boy on my phone right now. Do not <laughs> listen to so it. Maybe pull it out and play oh, it. You on stupid. The... Look, I'm not gonna lie, Jonas. I do like some of Takashi yeah, Six Nine, okay. but I'm not going in there looking to like come home satiated in my musical like suality. It's like they shouldn't get a, a Twinkie type of music. It's nice for the moment. Oh, but yeah, I, you're all like, I, I really got a niche. I need some, I need yeah, to yeah. And you eat it, and you're like, why'd I do that? And yeah. then you're <laughs> It was delicious. It's nothing. And then you regret it, it immediately. Yeah, and like, that was worth it at all. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it was delicious in, in its consumption. But it's, yeah, it's not good. But it, it's not I got bad. you. It's, it's like a guilty pleasure. Okay, but my whole, my whole point okay, was, yeah. is that, uh, I can see that the fact that, you know, grow up, make the start getting famous, man, that fame and the money that came along with it because oh, yeah. he was like the hottest thing. Oh, he got he swept up, man. Hot. The, the just rocket ship, NASA space station. Oh, yeah. Like he would have never done any of that stuff on his own. It was all because of the game. I like, mean, they definitely assisted and then they wanted their cut. Yeah, it's like it's like they were using him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he was like a young kid that didn't better and next thing you know you're caught up in racketeering and like all this other ish and next thing you know you're a millionaire man right. you're just like oh i'm i'm the hottest ever that is addicting so naturally coming out of prison even realizing himself there's no way that he thinks this is the best idea i mean well the safest idea right yeah but to maintain that high jonas you can't go back after that no dude he can't go you work can't. it Chick-fil-A making no. <laughs> making ten bucks an hour. You can't go back. Yeah. That's the danger of being rich, Jonas, to be honest. Is what? I hear a lot of uh I've heard from much people, Jonas, okay. it, that money tends to make you unhappier. They say that the more money you have, the more unhappier you actually will be. Yeah, it makes sense. I can see that. And uh and they're like, but everybody just thinks that that's not necessarily the truth. Uh, well, because like, okay, because like, unless you win the lottery, either either you get famous and then you lose privacy because you're famous, yeah, or you have a really good job, but you're so, you're so stuck at work and have so much to do to make that money that you can't enjoy it properly. Yeah, okay, I can see that because you obviously got to build that fortune up and that takes a lot of hard work and then it's just like maintaining all the hard work put into it. Right. So then you either don't have time. There's a lot of people that win the lottery and they end up 
Uh, yeah, I've, <laughs> I know there's at least more than two stories of somebody killing themselves after they won the lottery. Or water. they go broke because everybody takes advantage yeah. of them. Yeah. Somebody kills them or... That's the thing, man. Yeah, dude, money, people think money buys you happiness. Money gives you the ability to not care. And maybe that's what it is, man, because I know if you're rich, people are going to come ask, come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Like, I used to know this dude. It's, it's not the fact that you're happy. It's the fact that you don't have to worry about finance. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Because, like, you know, but here's the thing, okay? Say tomorrow you win the lottery, right? <laughs> or not even say you win the lottery. You just get, you, you have a, you're independently wealthy, not like king of Saudi sure, Arabia. Sure, sure. Wealthy. I, got, I got money, whatever. So, right. Here's the thing all your friends, everybody you care about still has to work and do normal stuff. Man, so, you either problem. have to support all of them nope. or hang out by yourself. Yep. Those are your options. <laughs> Oh man, I make a great rich person. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah well, you're, but like, you know what I mean? So it's like you're like, great. I don't, ha I don't have any responsibility, but nah. everyone else still has responsibility. Nah, fam. There's like, there's like ten of you muff just getting anything from me, and then the rest of y'all can suck my. <laughs> y'all like me? I'm no ten people on a list. <laughs> you're like. We're good. Everyone okay, let, let's good. see, Joe. Who's on my ten person list? What 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 are these ten people? The ten people. If I ever became a millionaire, they're not getting anything from me. Oh, oh, anything at all. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah, mom. Yeah. Okay. Amen. My mom for sure. Number one, mom. Yep. Probably my grandmother. We gonna move her into a better. Uh, man, she getting private care. She's. She's elderly. Uh, <laughs> she, she can get private care. Hook her up. Nice, nice everything. I mean, if money's not an option, let's just keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jonas, definitely you. Oh, that's sweet. You'd be on my list too. Um, uh, honorable mention to my ex. Probably would get a little, little oh, chunk. Oh, like, hey, you know what? Hey. Got to flex on her. Let her know what she could have had. <laughs> That's more like a flex. You just like else. you just like pay for her kid's college and be like, yeah. that's it. That's what you get. You could have had so much yeah. more, but now you're yeah. uh, My man's mom would get something because my man's is he's been deleted from <laughs> from the bestiary. <laughs> <laughs> so, but his mom could get it. Okay. How many I'm five up to? Oh, Jonas, I got so many more. I don't even know if I need ten. <laughs> I don't know if I need 10. I don't know if I need 10. Can I just, can I just, can you? <laughs> My sister, though, I'm going to have to get somebody to manage her funds because she don't know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and have the money, but I got you an advisor. Right. You, you like, you open up her a trust fund yeah. and like, she has like a man, she gets a monthly stipend. Yeah, I'd have to. You get five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you good. Hey, that's a, that's a nice supplemental yeah, income. I feel, yeah, honestly. I would take 500 a month for sure. <laughs> like, that'd be so great. Oh, my God. I Anyone couldn't was like, live hey, off of it. Well, I mean, if rent was free. That essentially, well, I yeah. mean, that doesn't pay your rent, but like. No, I would definitely pay dude, for that. Anyone was like, hey, I'll give you $500 a month for life or a big lump sum of like, say, 50K. I was like, give me that 500 a month for life. Because then it's just, you know, it's coming every month. Sometimes yeah, but you still have to work. I get you, but yeah. you still oh, have yeah, to work. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, 50K ain't going to work. No, it's yeah. not. No. Uh, wow, well, I got three more, Jonas. Uh, so my brother, my sister. Okay, boom. Two more, Jonas. Uh, let's just have like a, a game show where TNT Dynamite fixes your life. We pick one subscriber. <laughs> One lucky sub can be added to TNT Dynamite's lottery winnings share list. <laughs> Just right. Because you know damn well we still be doing the change. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm like, we'd have nothing but time. Oh, my God. We'll put out God. 100 videos a week. Oh, my God. You know, this would be amazing. <laughs> and see, it sounds great, but I'm sure it's just like, that's not cool. They say you shouldn't even help people out, I guess, if you get rich. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, like, I think if I had, like, large sums of money like that, yeah. I think the way I would help out people would be, like, well, I mean, not family. Like, family, like, like, I'd get my mom a house and a car, like, make sure she was set. But, like, people that, like, I really care about that are, like, friends, I wouldn't necessarily give them a lot of money, but I might be, like, I'll pay off your car and your house. That way they don't have a monthly bill anymore. They free up a thousand dollars a month of their own income or more mm. or you know what i mean and then 
So now your car's paid off, house is paid off. Now you have all this extra income. You do what you want. Because then mm. they're getting all that money extra a year because their stuff's paid off. Mm. And then that way you don't have to worry about them mismanaging money or blowing it or whatever. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Or like be like, I'll take care of your kid's school. Like I'll pay. Uh. Here, here's, here's, I'll put this in a fund for your child when they turn 18. Here's. Oh, yeah. See, oh, my, my brother would love that. He's all about education. <laughs> <laughs> but see, like, I think that's ways that you can help people, but you're not just like giving them stuff. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though my mom, I'm she's. Oh, yeah. Mom, stuff. like you spoil she's mom. She's getting Grandma, stuff. any of those people, you spoil yeah. them. Yeah. I feel like I would just hand you a, a manila envelope. <laughs> Bills. <laughs> I would just like leave a package, just a package right outside your door laying on the ground. You're like, what's that? <laughs> open it up. <laughs> there's, a, there's a $2 bill inside. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, you, you, just get, you just get a nice little package. You're like, you good. <laughs> go, go try to deposit that in the bank. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Just be a bag so big I can't even carry it to weigh so much. I would feel uncomfortable taking that much money in like like a brown paper bag. <laughs> Just, it's, like uh, I'd like to make a deposit. Yes, how much, sir? Uh, All of two it. million dollars. <laughs> You're like, why do you have cash? Be like. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> they have to report that ish to the government. Exactly. Like, if you come in with a large, it's over Yo. a certain amount of cash, they have to report. And that's the thing. Like, you, they were reported, and then you're going to be sitting there in the lobby with your bag. <laughs> 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 Two million unmarked. They're going to bring you, they're going to confiscate the money. They're going to confiscate it. They're going to have to vet it. And then they're going to, yeah, they're going to. They got to pay taxes on it. They're going to um, take you and put you under some hot lights. Where'd you get the fucking money, Jonas? It would be, be a terrible experience. I'd get done and be... I don't have... After taxes, I don't have about 800K left. I'd be, I'd be broke down. I'd be, like, admitted to crimes I didn't commit. I'd be in jail. They'd be like, you're part of the cartel, aren't you? This is drug money. Yes, sir. Just please make me stop. You know who tried to kill 6 9 don't you? <laughs> yeah, right, dude. That's what would happen. <laughs> All right, so on second thought, I'd probably just transfer funds. To you. Write a check. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd still put the cer ceremonious uh, package out there, and then it'll just have like a, a bank transaction receipt or something. <laughs> in it. It'll just be like paper mache. Yeah, it'll just, it'll just be like shredded dollars. You're like, I have so much money, I would shred a bunch of ones and just put the, put the ones confetti in a bag. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> then you go to jail for federally destroying money. Yeah, that's that's illegal. They don't really get on anybody about that. No. People are constantly <laughs> stamping and writing all over notes. Yeah. Man, they don't get anything for that. Yeah, dude. It's just a way they can get you if they want to. There's a lot of laws, I think, that are out there that they can get you if they want to. Because you ever notice if they really come down on someone, they get like, like if you're running, from, like it's like, oh, it's obstruction, evading. <laughs> like they add like a billion charts. But if you're just like, if you're nice and polite, they're like, here's your ticket for like whatever. <laughs> like, but if you're an ass. They will come at you with, like, everything in the book. It's just like a job, man. They build your permanent record. Yeah. Present it when they want you gone. <laughs> Jeez. All right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you've already done that, share it with a friend. Show it to Grandma. Call your old mama. <laughs> for Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. Uh, we are... Oh.